A young woman who marries a 60-year-old man, an 11-year-old girl in her daddy's arms, or a 4-year-old girl who marries her nurse. Don't be fooled by appearances, the eye can sometimes be deceiving. Here are the real stories of these unusual brides. Xiao Kui is a 25-year-old woman who lived with her parents and brother in a very poor village somewhere in China. She had been to school and her education was complete. She then went to university, graduated, and managed to find a job. But even with hard work, Xiao found it very difficult to support her family. Money was scarce at all times of the year. At the age of 25, Xiao Kui was still unmarried, an exceptional situation since all young Chinese women in their 20s find husbands. Xiao still hadn't found her another half because no one had come forward. No one wanted to marry a girl whose family was extremely poor. And her brother's situation made things worse. A man who was unable to support his family was just a broken arm, a burden. He couldn't start a family either, especially since single women in the village could be counted on the fingers of one hand. In the end, the whole family rejected any suitor for marriage. One day, when she was not expecting it, a man in his 60s came to Xiao's family to ask for her hand. A golden opportunity that Xiao had to accept in spite of herself, under the insistence of her parents. A rich man would finally save them from poverty and allow them to live a better life. So Xiao reluctantly accepted the old man's proposal, even though she never imagined that she would one day be the wife of an old man. She had dreamed of Prince Charming but was soon disappointed. The latter being perfectly aware that his fiancé was reluctant to this marriage, began to visit him more often so that they could get to know each other better. And at each meeting, Xiao talked a lot with him. Over time, the young woman grew closer to her fiancé to the point where she began to feel a lot of affection for him. The fear and repulsion she felt at first, soon turned into love. Xiao had grown accustomed to her fiancé and had even forgotten that he was 35 years her senior. On the day of the ceremony, after they were officially married, Xiao and her husband went to their home. As the young woman got ready for her husband, he asked her to wait for him for a while. He disappeared into the bathroom and a few minutes later, another man came out. A young man who had nothing to do with the husband that Xiao had seen enter the bathroom a few minutes earlier. The young woman thought at first that he was a thief and that she was going to be mugged. And as soon as she was about to scream, the young man walked up to her and confessed his secret. Xiao was surprised to learn that her husband was actually a young man, who had disguised himself as an old man thanks to a team of makeup artists, in order to set a trap for the one who was going to marry him. Indeed, the young man explained to his wife that he had spotted her one day and that he had wanted to marry her but only under the condition that she would love him for who he is and not for his money. Of course, Xiao was initially motivated by his wealth, but as time went by, she fell in love with him and it was with great joy that she finally married him despite his advanced age. Something that other women would certainly not have done. It's true that this staged scene will have given Xiao a big scare and that she will now have to get used to a new face and a new person. But in the end, he remained the same and that's the most important. Now, thanks to this trap set by her husband, Xiao has not only gained financial stability, but above all, she has gained the most important thing, love, the real one. In New York City, a little four-year-old girl named Abby Sales lives with her parents in a beautiful house. The little girl is happy and always smiling, but unfortunately, she has to live with a very serious disease, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Leukemia is a cancer that usually affects children and affects the blood stem cells of the person who has it. And since she was taken in by Melody Center, a hospital for children's cancers, located in Albany, New York, little Abby has developed a close relationship with Matt Hickling, her favorite nurse. Matt takes care of her, changes her clothes, brings her food, and even brushes her hair. Their promiscuous relationship that quickly turned into a friendly relationship. Their friendship was so special that Matt and Abby became best friends. Handsome, strong, caring, and protective, Abby began to see Matt as a true Prince Charming. You know little girls when they are smitten with a man as strong and protective as their daddy, they want to make him their prince. And that's exactly what Abby asked her favorite nurse. So she decided to marry him. So she quickly informed her mom that on her next date with Matt, she planned to marry him. A news which of course surprised the mom who against all expectations, decided to follow her daughter in her little madness and to support her. Abby then asked her mom to call Matt and tell him about the idea. The nurse obviously accepted to make little Abby happy. But what the little girl had no idea was that the entire medical staff of the hospital would unite to bring this beautiful little project to life. With the precious help of his colleagues, the groom immediately started to prepare the big day. Decoration, music, bouquet of flowers, rose petals all over the floor, no detail had been forgotten. 
Everything was there to impress the illuminated and loving eyes of the little Abby. The latter was pleasantly surprised by all that her fiancé had done to answer her request. The little lover was welcomed with the traditional wedding march that the guests hummed for her. Abby was wearing a flowery headband and a beautiful white dress to walk towards her lover. As for this last one, he wore only a t-shirt effect costume, a small wink to the fake character of the scene. And by way of rings, Abby and her false husband exchanged candy rings. Icing on the cake, there was even a delicious wedding cake for the two lovebirds. Everything to make the sick little girl happy. An exceptional day that helped Abby to smile again, to forget her health problems and to cheer her up. The little girl still has a long way to go at the Melody Center Hospital because she still has to receive treatments for more than a year and a half. But every time she goes to the hospital, she will know that her husband is waiting for her, and just knowing that it will be Matt who will be taking care of her will make her very happy. Of course, Abby is not married for real, but what is real is the love she has for Matt, and that is priceless. In a village in South Africa, there lived an eight-year-old boy named Sunil Masalela. The child had a grandfather whom he loved deeply and for whom he could refuse nothing. The old man was very ill and had very little time to live. He then asked his grandson to grant him one last wish, to get married so that he could attend his wedding. But Sunil was still too young to get married, so he decided with the agreement of his family to organize a fake wedding in which the grandfather would attend. So, in order to fulfill his grandfather's last wish to see his grandson get married before he passed away, little Sunil married Helen Shabangam, a woman more than 50 years his senior and whom the grandfather had chosen because he loved her very much. Indeed, the wife was 61 years old at the time and was already married to another man and mother of several children. In just a few weeks, the little boy and his family organized a ceremony that cost them nearly 1,500 euros between the buffet, the costume, and the dress of the bride. Everything had to be perfect to make the wedding as realistic as possible. Of course, the couple didn't make a real commitment and didn't sign a marriage contract. But the ceremony, which gathered about 150 guests, allowed them to pay a very touching tribute to their sick grandfather. Sunil knew that the wedding was fake and that he would return to his normal life as soon as the ceremony was over. It was certainly a very special request and very difficult to accept for a child of that age. But Sunil understood the situation perfectly and knew that he would marry the girl of his choice when he reached the age of marriage. The most important thing for him was to fulfill the last wish of his grandfather, whom he would probably never see again. After the ceremony, the little boy went back to school, and Helen to her life as a wife and mother. He may not see his grandfather on his real wedding day, but Sunil will have a beautiful memory in his mind. Jim Zetz is a 62-year-old American man who lives with his small family in California, USA. Unfortunately, the man is suffering from terminal pancreatic cancer and doctors have told him that he has very little time to live. His disease will most likely take him away before he can see his 11-year-old daughter Josie to be married to the man of his life. As soon as he knew he didn't have long to live. A painful feeling flooded the heart of the father who didn't want to miss this event for anything. A feeling that he decided to share with his wife. But Jim never thought that by confiding in his wife, he would receive one of the most beautiful surprises of his life. Indeed, she decided to call upon the help of their photographer friend Lindsay Villatoro. The latter had some time before made them a family portrait to immortalize their happy moments. That's when Lindsay inspired the mom to organize a fake wedding ceremony, in which the dad would accompany his little girl to the altar as the tradition wants. So they waited for little Josie's birthday to organize the ceremony. Without Jim's knowledge, in 72 hours, the photographer was able to raise funds to organize the fake wedding and make Jim's and little Josie's dream come true, who also wanted her father to attend her wedding. On the day of the ceremony, everyone was dressed up. Josie was dressed in a beautiful white wedding dress and Jim was on her arm, wearing a gray suit with a white rose in the buttonhole. As tradition dictates, dad and daughter walked down the aisle to the pastor who declared them father and daughter. The mock wedding ceremony was then followed by a small reception with family and friends. A day filled with emotions during which the little girl and her daddy in tears, had lived an exceptional moment immortalized by the family photographer who then shared the video on social networks. Unfortunately, Jim will never attend the real wedding of his little one since she is still very young to get married. But this father was still able to realize his dream and give his arm to his daughter to walk with her to the altar during the traditional wedding march. After all, Jim is and will always be little Josie's first love. So, did these stories move you? Which one do you find the most touching? Tell us what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, 
and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss any of our upcoming content.